I recently reviewed E. Vitaloni, a Federico Fellini movie, the first one of his that I had ever seen, and it was a remarkable movie that I really enjoyed, and I was curious to go into his other filmography to see what else he had done, Juliet of the Spirits, another Fellini movie that I knew nothing about, I hadn't heard of before, and I was very interested to see what the movie was going to offer this time around. Looking into it, this was his first colour movie, and it comes across with some really vibrant colours throughout the full movie, and the story is a rather succinct, easy one that is enriched by the filmmaking technique on show here. It's all about Julieta, a woman who has, throughout the course of the movie, finds out, comes to terms with, deals with, the fact that her husband is cheating on her. Now that sounds like a rather uh, small facet for a movie that is over two hours of length, but that is giving it short service because this movie offers so much more. Now the lead actress, an actress that I, I can't say that I've seen in anything else before or really take notice of before, gives an absolutely outstanding performance as Julieta in this movie. She has this ever ready smile that is always across her face is there from the beginning of the movie to the end and the, the wealth of acting on show here really shows throughout the movie because at the start they are warm, friendly, curious smiles. It's always the same but there seems to be a different emotion behind everyone and as you get to the end it's a more sombre, sadder smile that's there and it's just truly masterful work from this actress who, who is very introverted who tries to keep everything inside as all these crazy things are going on round about her that she just won't let really affect her on the outside where it is deeply resonating on the inside with her. You know she has this really nice lifestyle, she has this nice group of friends and, and support agency round about her but the one thing that she relies on most, the one thing that she loves the most is Gregor, her husband and she is starting to feel as if something's not right there at the start. And, and there is also other kind of elements of mysticism. She looks into like tarot cards, palm readings, things like that. There is imaginations run amok. As she psychologically comes to terms with what's going on, there is crazy images and crazy things happening all over the place. Whether it be dream sequences or whether it just be plain hallucinations as she struggles to deal with this inner turmoil that is happening. I was absolutely mm, like, overjoyed with watching this movie. It really got to me, it really spoke to me on an intricate level and it was something that I couldn't take my eyes off. Now it's down to the, the filmmaking, the storytelling, the, the main actress who's all fantastic but there were so many things I just enjoyed about this movie. The colour palette is so rich and vibrant and, and how it changes depending on what aspect of the storytelling it's going to, whether it be more mystical, it changes to a certain colour palette, whether it be more imagination, it's really taking a physical form for her, it changes to a different colour palette, but each of them, they're all vibrant, wild and various and, and, and interesting to look at. Now, that, I noticed this with Evie Toloni and I noticed it even more with Juliet of the Spirits is the way that he directs the actors where the camera moves. Now, the camera can move through a party at a room and it's almost pin perfect the way that people move, the way it drifts in and out of conversations as people dash in front of the cameras, it moves to different uh, people talking or different situations in a room and it's really marvellously set up. There is lots of stunning images throughout this movie that just enrich this really, really interesting story that I had all the way through it. Now it's got these fantastic cinematography, it's got these great colours, it's got this really interesting music that goes all the way through it. It's almost whimsical and jaunty but it is used constantly throughout the movie but it's, it's altered and changed depending on what kind of situation it is it's needing to fit which is excellent as well. But the best thing about this and the thing that I keep going back to is the lead actress. You know she's front and centre of the movie, she's the heart of it, she is where everything resonates and I was glued to this performance. I was absolutely marvelled by her big eyes, the smile that was constantly there and all these emotions that were behind this facade that she portrayed, it was just wonderful to see. It's true master craftsman and just possibly one of the best performances I think I've ever seen in my life. I was just absolutely marvelled by this lady um, and her performance I thought it was terrific. Julia of the Spirits 
it's a great transfer. Like I said, it pops off the screen. It's a captivating story. It's something that I will go back to again. It's something that I am going to highly recommend checking out because I thought it was fantastic. The disc itself has an audio commentary that I haven't listened to as yet, but I will go back to. And it has a video essay, which is about 14 minutes long from a professor who basically talks us through some of the, the stylistic moments of the movie. I think this is this is a real treat. Um, something that if you haven't seen before you're into these kind of movies or something you're wanting to dabble with this is a truly fantastic movie that does have a lot there for you to chew on I think I'm going to see even more when I get back to this movie which I will be doing fairly soon so I'd love to know your opinion of this movie if you've seen it before let me know in the comment box below your thoughts and um, maybe if you want to recommend any other Fellini for me that, that you know that I, you think I may like, I'd, I'd be happy to take the suggestion. Thanks for watching this review, and we'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.